All right, now let's look at this example. Player one has three actions, left, middle, right. If he chooses right, the game is over. If he chooses left or M, then player two moves up or down, and these are the payoffs. So here, if you like, once again, you can uh, uh, write down the normal form representation or the strategic form of this game, find the Nash equilibrium. And in fact, there are two uh, Nash equilibrium. Um, and, and, and you can check one of them, or, I mean, you can check uh, both of those Nash equilibrium to see if they are PBE. But this is not what I'm going to do, because you will see some games where finding Nash equilibrium is not so easy. So you have to learn to apply this, uh, you know, requirement for, uh, one up to four and, and come up with the uh, PBE. So a PBE is going to look something like this. Player one has one strategy and player two has another strategy and then some belief system, right? So let's put mu here and one minus mu here uh, according to requirement one. So I need to find S1 and S2 and I, I need to find the value of mu. All right, so I'm gonna use requirement two once again because player two should be choosing optimally. Well, given his uh, her beliefs, well, what does that mean? Uh, expected payoff of player two, if she chooses you, uh, player two, I'm sorry, if she chooses you is going to be one times mu plus zero times one minus mu. So it's just mu. All right. Expected payoff of the same player, if she chooses D, however, it's zero times mu plus one times one minus mu. So it's just one minus mu. Huh. So what does that mean? That means Sometimes, depending on the value of mu, u is the best response. Sometimes d is the best response. All right, so this question is going to be a bit complicated than the previous one. Well, what I can do, I can write the best response of player two. So best response of player two, best response to what? Best response to the mu itself. Well, what is it? Well, if you see, I mean, mu is, is, is less than or equal to one half, right? When mu is equal to, I mean, expected utility of playing u is equal to expected utility of playing d. Uh, so mu is equal to one minus mu, so mu is equal to one over two. So the expected pairs will be the same here. Well, but I do not want to find mixed strategies. I just want to worry about pure strategy, uh, perfect Bayesian equilibrium. So if mu is less than or equal to one half, all right, for example, zero, so clearly D is better than, uh, D gives higher payoff than U, so the best response is D. However, if mu is greater than one half, well, then the best response is U. Again, because I am not worried about mixed strategy equilibrium, I am going to ignore the case where mu is exactly equal to one half. I know that both D and U are best response. So if you like, you can just write this, okay? Um, well, what else? So now uh, I, I wanna use, I mean, I can use requirements two for player one, or I can use requirement three, but there is nothing about, I mean, there's, in order to use requirement three or four, I need to know what strategy player one will be using, which I don't know yet. So what, what can I do? Well, I can use these requirements too. I mean, the uh, sequential rationality for the first player, but I don't know what S2 is. Well, what I know is that at least S2 is either D or U. Oh, well, good morning. <laughs> Uh, well, she has only two actions anyway, but what I can do, I also know when D and when U, all right? So that is a good starting point. Uh, however, because S2 can be D or U, I can make a case analysis. So I'm gonna call it case one, where S2 is equal to D. I mean, is there any PBE where S D S2 is equal to D and obviously mu is less than or equal to one half? Because remember, D is not a best response if mu is not less than or equal to one half. So therefore, uh, if I am going to assume that S2 is equal to D, in an equilibrium, I should also assume that mu is equal to less than or, uh, less than or equal to one half. All right, so 
uh, let's see, is there, I mean, here, by the way, I didn't write it, but is there, this is the question I'm after. Is there a PBE uh, S1, S2 mu such that S2 is equal to D and mu is less than or equal to one half? So that's the question I'm after. All right. Well, what can I do? Well, remember, I, I am looking at a case where S2 is equal to D. So let's put arrow here. So if S2 is equal to D, what is the expected path of player one if he plays left? What is his expected path? Well, remember, player two is playing D. What is his expected path if he plays M? And what is his expected path if he plays R? Uh, again, giving that player two is playing D, S2. Well, if he plays left, Obviously, his expe expected payoff is zero. If uh, he plays M, his expected payoff is also zero. If he plays right, however, his expected payoff is two. So therefore, uh, the best response for player one is that best response for player one to D, the player two is playing D, is R. Okay? I mean... You can call it this way because best response is a set, but you know, uh, uh, you can ignore the brackets, that's fine. Uh, so the best response for player one is uh, R, all right? So this guy. So the question is, uh, remember I'm still in case one. Uh, so I used uh, requirement one already, mu, business. I used requirement two. According to this requirement, uh, what I learned is that S2 can be D, uh, mu can be less than or uh, equal to one half, and then S1 has to be equal to R. All right, so let me summarize my equilibrium. Okay, so can this be an equilibrium? I actually kind of find everything I need. Well, I still need to check requirement three and four, remember? All right. So here, if these are the strategies for player one and two, R and then D, well, actually who cares about player two's strategy? Given that player one is playing R for sure, this information set is off the equilibrium path. So requirement three is invalid, meaning uh, we do not need to worry about it any mu, uh, because it's off, uh, this information set is not on the equilibrium path. So here, we need to look at requirement four. And according to requirement four, remember, use Bayes rule whenever it is possible. Well, here, any mu, all right, is going to satisfy, remember, any mu satisfies uh, requirement four. However, not any mu is going to satisfy requirement two because given that S2 is equal to D, remember mu is supposed to be less than one half. Otherwise, uh, player two's optimal strategy is U. So therefore, although all mu's satisfy requirement four, uh, thanks to requirement one and two, we have to have mu is less than or equal to one half. So what does that mean? That means uh, a strategy profile R D mu is a perfect Bayesian equilibrium whenever mu is less than or equal to one half. It means there are infinitely many perfect Bayesian equilibrium of this form. All right, player one plays R, finishes the game. And then player two's strategy is D, but you know what? He, she will never be able to uh, play. And she believes that it is more likely that uh, she is in, in this decision now. So that's, that's the belief. So there are infinitely many perfect Bayes in equilibrium. The infinitely manyness, manyness, well, that's a weird uh, uh, word. Uh, the, the, we have infinitely many PBE. That's mainly and simply because there are infinitely many such Mu's right, uh, but otherwise the strategies for player one and two are are fixed. You can change mu and get another PBE, but all of them are outcome equivalent. All of them are going to give those players two and two payoff. All right. However, don't forget this is just case one. Maybe there are other PBEs. 
So I need to check case two as well. All right. Well, what is case two? I need to uh, clean up this part at least. Uh, so I'm going to leave the, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, conclusion. So case two, remember, was about the optimal strategy for player two is you, but this time mu has to be greater than or equal to one half. I mean, is it possible to come up with some equilibrium here, perfect Bayesian equilibrium here, where player one, act, I'm sorry, player two actually plays you, and she believes that it is more likely that she is in this decision node. Well, let's see about this. Okay, so, oops, I'm sorry. Player two is not playing D, she is playing U. Uh, all right, so put the arrow here because, you know, putting arrows makes my life easier. Uh, I can follow the arrows and see what the outcome will be. So once again, I need to find, oh, the question is the following. Is there any perfect Bayesian equilibrium uh, such that S1, S2 equals U and mu is greater than or equal to one half. All right, so that's the question I'm asking. So what is the best response for player one? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to find the best response for player one. What is his expected utility if his opponent is playing you? His expected utility if his opponent uh, I'm sorry, expected utility, he is playing left, his opponent is playing U, he is playing M, his opponent is playing U, and finally, he is playing right, his opponent is playing U. So if he plays left, his payoff will be 4, if he plays uh, M, his payoff will be 3, and if he plays R, his payoff will be 2. So as you can see, the best response of the first player to the second players playing U is uh, L. So what does that mean? That means S1 has to be equal to L, S2 has to be equal to U, and then mu has to be greater than or equal to one half. Good. So S1 equals L, S2 equals U, and mu greater than or equal to one half satisfies requirement one, requirement two. What about three and four? All right, so given that these are the strategies, L for sure, and then U, this information set is on the equilibrium path, and so we have to satisfy requirement three. According to requirement three, if we use the Bayes rule, what should be the value of mu? Remember, player one is playing left for sure, so therefore, player two shouldn't think that I may be here or here, she should think and believe that she is exactly here. So mu should be one, which is greater than or equal to one half. Huh. So what does that mean? That means only mu equals one satisfies requirement three. All the other mu values fail to satisfy requirement three. And hence, there is another PBE where player one plays left, player two plays U, and mu is equal to one. Remember all other mu values, for example, mu equals 0 0.8, 0 0.9, uh, they fail to satisfy requirement three. We do not need to worry about requirement four, once again, because given those strategies, this information set is on the equilibrium path, and requirement four is about information sets that are off the equilibrium path. So, conclusion, that's, that's it. I, 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 I finished both case one and case two, which was actually derived because of the best response function for player two. Uh, well, I found two uh, uh, group of PBE. One of them is that player one is playing left, player two is playing you, and she thinks, she believes that this is the decision note. And so they end up pay off four and one. And the other set of PBE is that player one is playing right, and player two is playing D, and she believes that uh, she's more likely in this part rather than this part. So any mu less than or equal to one half is going to give us, the, give us a PBE, uh, but all of them are outcome equivalent because they all lead to the same outcome, which is two and two. Okay, so that's it. This is the all uh, PBE in pure strategies. There might be some PBEs in mixed strategies, 
but we are not worried about them.